Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Prince's estate is not happy with Donald Trump. The late pop icon song Purple Rain was played during Trump's campaign event in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the musician's hometown, on Thursday night despite the fact that the Trump campaign promised last year not to use any of the singer's music. President Trump played Prince's Purple Rain tonight at a campaign event in Minneapolis despite confirming a year ago that the campaign would not use Prince's music, Prince's estate said in a tweet on Thursday night. The Prince's estate will never give permission to President Trump to use Prince's songs, the tweet concluded definitively. The tweet included a letter from the Jones Day law firm which represented the Trump campaign last year. The campaign has since hired an in-house legal team, Politico reported in, in April. The letter very clearly acknowledges the Prince's estate's request that the Trump campaign refrain from using Prince's Purple Rain or any other Prince music in connection with campaign rallies or other campaign events. Without admitting liability and to avoid any future dispute, we were right to confirm that the campaign will not use Prince's music in connection with its activities going forward, the letter says. In video of Thursday night's event shared on Twitter, Purple Rain can very clearly be heard as people mull about the target center before the rally kicked off. Trump eventually took the podium and spoke for more than an hour. A rep for the Trump campaign and the White House did not immediately respond to people's request for comment. Of course, Prince's is not the only music that Trump has been asked not to use at his campaign events. Adele, Alton John, Queen, Neil Young, R.E.M., Twisted Sister, The Rolling Stones, Farrell, Rihanna and more artists have all expressed that they do not want their music associated with Trump or used at his events. That is it for today's news guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.